Hi there, we are doing so many tests and reviews on different newest components or bikes on our Canadian channel. But on this episode, I'd like to tell you that uh, it can be as exciting to take a closer look on what was being done like 20 or 30 years ago. If you know me, you know I'm riding both Canadair K10 and Canadair Killer V and I love both bikes. So here we have on this episode, top five, in my opinion, most wanted vintage bike. Let's start with the Klein Attitude. It come, they come in no particular order, but Klein Attitude, man, handmade in USA, super desirable bicycle. Um, this aluminum design with these um, forks and uh, super sexy graphics make uh, super desirable bikes. If you go for like eBay and see how much uh, they cost, then you will know this is really something that many, many uh, bikers uh, would like to just keep uh, at home. Uh, Klein was uh, finally bought by Trek, so we don't see so much of uh, klein -ish DNA on the Trek bikes today. Uh, but uh, go on that website oldkline.com especially here oldkline.com slash history slash evolution this man man you've made a wonderful job of comparing different models uh, years uh, dropouts aluminum design uh, cable routing uh, go for oldkline.com and check it out Klein attitude that would be the first one a really most wanted vintage bike like ever. The second one will be Cannondale Raven, ma made a bit um, later because Attitude was being produced from 1990 and Raven from 1998 till 2000, 2001 and Raven was made in two generations. The second generation is the most desirable one. It was improved, it was uh, lighter but there was also some uh, recall action so make sure if you buy the bike that it was maintained and fixed by uh, Cannondale dealer and then you will be safe uh, to be riding this bike and many guys make like super sexy projects based on this frame set today go and check those out on eBay you will see some some crazy prices uh, are there also so the second one is Cannondale Raven especially the second generation the third one will be actually both a a road and, and mountain bike. Here on the steelvintage.com I found this one. It's a Bianchi TI Megatube. Uh, when you search for TI Megatube and also the Reparto Corse, which is um, racing division uh, for Bianchi, you will find those titanium frames with carbon forks, which, has, which are also very, very desirable and also from 1990s. Uh, this bike had also like a mountain bike version, it's a co completely different bike, but the uh, same graphics like Celeste, color, titanium frames. Those were not the super light bikes, but super compliant and super durable and very, very desirable. This one uh, was found on the MTB News DE. Sometimes they appear on eBay and they would be sold on some really, really high prices. So Bianchi TI Megatube both road and mountain bike that was the third one and the fourth one is cool looking uh, that's the yeti arc uh, this these graphics were just so awesome uh, so exciting now uh, yeti does make still does make bikes which is uh, super cool uh, like bianchi also in canada uh, but today the arc uh, is the carbon uh, structure carbon frame uh, that's interesting because ARC uh, stands for Aluminum Racing Composite uh, but uh, this model was so well known, especially on those colors that um, Yeti would still keep the proud name of ARC for the carbon frame and you can also check it out here on their website there is some uh, quotation from, so from the Bible, the um, Bible of Bike Test magazine uh, very very interesting super cool design nice piece of history of mountain bikes um, of Yeti and finally of course it had to be here that's Ritchie steel bike Ritchie P21 uh, that's the one that's uh, that Thomas Frischneck was just uh, you know crushing the field um, in mountain biking so that's it on these colors um, this uh, picture was found something by here on the retrobike.co.uk Richie P21 uh, 
uh, you can find some different pictures on Google graphics for this one uh, still frame still uh, design and Tom Ritchie still does make those still super awesome bikes uh, you can also check uh, the website of of his um, of Tom Ritchie super bikes so first client attitude second Candle Raven second generation third um, Bianchi TI mega tube road and mountain bike then the Yeti uh, ARC and finally Ritchie P21 super cool steel frame very very classic uh, looking if you have uh, your uh, your choice of the most wanted vintage bike let us know in the comment section thanks for watching and it was so nice to talk with you about those very very cool bikes i will see you soon bye bye